everybody. So I wanted to come on and say hey and um, kind of respond to some of the things that people have said on the last video and talk about a few other things. I've got like a hair on my face, so don't mind me. Um, got the girls in the car, so nothing too intimate is going to be said. But um, a lot of people, I don't think, really kind of got what I was saying about being sad. Um, I know you guys understood my drift, but um, I am very excited for them to join our family. Very, very excited. That's not the problem. Um, it's just they've had so much loss already so that's the sad thing and um, realistically it, it I doubt that she had this epiphany and realized that they were so much better off with us I very much doubt that yeah baby your tummy's hungry well you just had breakfast so we'll have snack in a little bit okay um, but I very, very much doubt because of her position and a lot of the things that she's doing still, I very much doubt that was the case. Um, and I'll go into more detail with that on a video where they are asleep or not present with me. But what I'm really realistically thinking happened is that her state appointed lawyer probably <laughs> pointed out X, Y, and Z and told her, you know, look you can contest, but it's not going to go your way. All it's going to do is, for one, it's going to draw out things a lot more for you and for them, and it's going to make you look worse for these other things that are going on. Um, so realistically, I think that's probably what happened. Um, like I said, I'll go into more detail with that when the girls are not here. But, yeah, <laughs> but it was a good thought. I wish she has said, she told the social workers that she does know that they're, sorry, my hair's wet, that they're in a good home and that she's happy that they've become a family. Um, but again, I think that was more social workers talking to her and telling her, you know, they have, they've become a family with these people. They're good people, blah, blah, blah. I don't think she just magically came up with that on her own. Um, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's my kind of response to that. But otherwise, we have lots of stuff that goes on. So, I talked a little bit about the fact that it's not a cakewalk, and it's definitely not. Um, there are some things that are amazing and easy and great. Um, like I said, they fit in with our family really well. Uh, and they have, since the very start, their personalities mesh pretty well with ours. Um, veggie is... <laughs> veggie is a little bit more temperamental. <laughs> She's definitely going to get her needs wanted. Want, needs met. Um... But, honestly, she's a bit more like I was when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, so it's, I mean, it's payback. <laughs> um, but she's, she's a bit more strong-willed like I was when I was little. And um, Bop is a little bit more probably like Jeremy was when he was little. So that's been interesting. Um, Bop really connected well with me so the opposites kind of attracted in this situation yeah. veggie really yeah. instantly yeah. another one oh, oh um too. veggie instantly connected oh, with jeremy what? a bit more and bob connected more with me so that was interesting and but um, veggie was more versatile. Um, it's been 
harder for Bop to really open up. Um, but she's starting to, and it's so wonderful to see. But there are definitely still times where we're trying to create situations where Jeremy does something and it's his turn to do something like nap time or like bedtime or um, my eyes watering or uh, bath time, things like that. And then they'll be okay when, when they're playing and washing and then all of a sudden it's time to dry off and get lotion on and she just flips out and um, it does it breaks my heart it it's very hard for me not to go in there most times but at the same time I can smile because those hard times and her seeing him stick through it and not just give up and get me or whatever that's really on a subconscious level letting her know that he's always going to be there and he is dad and you know there's so many layers to it but attachments happening and it's fantastic um, Today, for the first time, Bob said I love you, too, to Daddy um, when he was around. She has told me that she loves Daddy, and um, I'll say, you know, Mommy and Daddy love you, and she'll say, I love Mommy, I love Daddy, too. But she hasn't said it to him, but when he left this morning, or when we left this morning, he said, I love you, and she said, I love you, too. And it was just, oh, I almost cried. Um, and for me, veggie has been the harder one with that. Um, we have been saying I love you for a while, because we do. And I have, it's very hit or miss as to whether she'll say it back to anybody. But a lot of the times that she had, sorry, said it back. Um, it was a very superficial, like, I don't... I don't really, I'm just going to say it because you're saying it type of thing. But recently, she has started saying it as well, either on her own free will or say, saying it in reply to us saying it to her. Um, it's still a little bit hit or miss, but it's getting there. So that's fantastic. Um... They are in Taekwondo, Veggie is in Taekwondo, and Bop is in dance, ballet. And they both really like their activities. Um, I see. A bird, yes, I see the birds, babe. Too many birds. Too many birds. Um, they have some very similar likes and dislikes, and then they have some very opposite likes and dislikes. So it's kind of funny to see how they try and differentiate themselves and how adamant they are that they are different people, which is cool. Um, Lisa, you had said something about uh, quiet kids. This is much more normal, and this is actually quite typically quiet for us. <laughs> Yay! Um, but I don't mind. Anyway, um, I am going to go... And I will make another update that's a little bit more in detail uh, soon without them around. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.